Hi everybody, David again. Next thing we're gonna do is stuff squid with a red pepper sauce. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get the squid ready uh, to put on the grill. Uh, so we've, again, we've cleaned our squid, the quill is taken out, they're all cleaned and ready to go, taking the skin off. This is a mixture that I've done earlier. Um, it's half a red bell pepper, half of uh, red onion, a little bit of chopped garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and fresh parsley. Uh, we've browned off the sausage. Uh, I used a spicy Italian sausage this time. Um, and we've let this cool so we can handle it. Now for this recipe, you wanna keep this, the mantle whole. Um, and everything's been cleaned out. So now you're gonna take the sausage and stuff this into the mantle. Um, you can do this with a pastry bag if you have uh, a large opening on the, on the nozzle. It's just as easy with the bigger squid uh, to do it by hand. Okay, you're gonna force that down inside, fill up the entire squid. Okay, top it off. Okay, and we're gonna take these. All right, I have a nice little seafood rub that I use that's got a little mustard seed, tarragon, dried basil. So I'll take these and just rub them down a little bit with the rub. Okay, and then after we have a few more of those set up, we're gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil and then these will get charred off on the grill and then we'll finish them up later. Hi everybody, we're back with the stuffed squid. All right, these are the squid that I stuffed earlier with the sausage, red pepper and onion and garlic mix. Um, now with smaller squid, you could actually stuff them right ahead of time with raw sausage. Um, since these are bigger squid, I, I went ahead and cooked the sausage off ahead of time and then stuffed them up. Drizzled them with a little bit of olive oil and then our seafood rub. And then I'm gonna put these right onto the hot grill. Let them score right up. Like I said, the sausage inside is already pre-cooked. So all we're doing is just warming that up. Um, and again, like Simeon said earlier, squids, you either cook really fast or really long time. So again, we're just gonna mark them up, get them going on the grill a little bit. Another thing you do is closing your lid actually retains the heat and not only are you grilling, you're baking at the same time. Keep turning the skid, the squid, try to get marks on all sides. Okay, about ready here. Now you can see the squid's cooked. Um, you don't have as much trouble with the curling and stuff as you do with the bigger squid by keeping it whole. And what the, uh, the mantle or the body of the squid is actually doing now um, is tightening up and holding all that stuffing in. Okay, about ready here. Now you can see the squid's nice and good. Charred up, get a little markings on it. Okay. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this off on our plate. And we'll take this inside and plate it up with our red pepper sauce. All right, everybody, we're back with the squid that we just grilled off. Now I'm gonna take these, slice them nice and thick so you make bite-sized portions. We'll put these on the plate. Still hot off the grill. We'll make sure all this stuffing stays in. Now at this point you can either add your favorite marinara sauce or your favorite red sauce. Uh, I personally like this uh, Portuguese red pepper sauce. It's got just enough heat to it and a little bit of tang. We'll just dribble that over all of them. And have a little fresh flat leaf parsley. 
That's it. We're ready to serve.